Bosa Edwards has moved out in front on the early rounds. Bosa Edwards being put under a little pressure now by Limon. Oh, what a good left. Left hook from the challenger. Limon, the holder, on the floor. Dick Young, the referee, giving him the compulsory eight count in the fifth round. Well, Bosa Edwards could hardly have made a better start than that. The question now, of course, in this fifth round, and there's plenty of it left, is whether Bosa Edwards can make something of that lockdown and finish this fight here and now and declare himself the world champion. Mexican must have been quite uh, badly shaken by that knockdown but he's making a very good comeback in this fifth round and standing in close and hooking and that is precisely the style that was expected of him he's been around a long time Limon he's now 28 29 years old and he's had 56 professional fights he's been a pro for nine years is a remarkably good comeback by Limon considering the trouble he was in in the early seconds of this fifth round and this American crowd really are now getting very excited about this fight Bowser Edwards wasn't given a lot of chance and now he's proving himself to be an exceptional challenger coming towards the end of the fifth that was with that knockdown from Boza Edwards as he looks across at Lehman here's a replay of the knockdown watch for the left hook from Boza Edwards you'll see how Lehman's arms completely down totally unprotected to the head and he paid for it now round eight Boza Edwards keeping up the good work using his longer reach using his superior boxing skill to build himself a very very useful lead halfway through the scheduled 15 rounds of this nine stone four world junior lightweight championship and Lehman again knowing he's behind mounting some furious attacks but he doesn't seem to be capable of nailing Boza Edwards with a good one Edwards, 31 pro fights, just two defeats. He had three fights in the United States last year, Boza Edwards, so he's used to American rings and American crowds. End of the eighth. And Boza Edwards still very much the governor. We move on to round 11. And by my scoring on this fight the challenger is quite a long way ahead already and there are signs now that the champion Rafael Bazooka Limon from Mexico is beginning to tire just watch his arms the right hand beginning to hang by his side and that's usually well it's a sign of one of two things he's either hurt the right hand or he's very very tired and he's resting his arms He's got a few marks and grazes on his face, Limon. The challenger seems to be relatively unmarked. Just look how Bowser Edwards is taking command. Into the 13th now. And still, Limon is not making up any of the leeway. And he's looking very, very tired indeed and desperate. You can hear Mickey Duff 
the manager of Bose Edwards, that's a low punch. That was a palpably low right hand from the champion. And Dick Young, the referee, quite rightly, taking Bose Edwards aside, giving him a few seconds to recover, having a quiet talk with him. Are you all right? And he's allowed to go on, of course, having been given a bit of time to recover. And Lemont will undoubtedly pay for that low punch by being penalised on the judges' cards. So he's behind already, and he'll be further behind now. End of the 13th. And Boza looks across at Lemont and says, what was that low punch all about then? We can have another look at it now from another angle. And you'll see just how low it was. Watch the right hand. There it goes. And that is a disgracefully low punch. Round 14. And Boza Edwards now within sight of an extraordinary victory on American soil. And Lemon knows it and he's struggling desperately to get something back out of this fight. It's making no difference. And Boza Edwards now, confident of victory, begins to get a bit flashy. Well, there's a little bit of the Ali shuffle and the old uh, movement of the shoulders. Personally, I'd, I'd rather he concentrated on his work instead of getting flashy. But there you are, that's a sign of how confident he is. 14. And he's picking off the champion, much as he likes. And the crowd have now turned completely round onto Boza Edwards' side. They started supporting the Mexican, and now in the 15th, they're on Boza's side. The last round. And Boza Edwards measuring him with the left, and then whacking him with the right. Totally confident, and totally in command. This will be an astonishing victory for a British-based fighter on American soil. Just under half a minute left. And Boza Edwards, formerly of Uganda, now based in London, England, has been the governor all the way through. He's never really looked in danger of defeat. And the crowd love him. The bell coming up. That's the finish, and there can be no doubt as to who's the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Dr. Jen King scores 146-140. Hank Ellis Boo scores 146-139. Lou Filippo, 143-141. All four, the new champion!